It opened at the end of Prohibition, and its last call is going to be race weekend. The Elbow Room at 6th and Pennsylvania is now sitting on prime real estate, and the owners are selling out. Yeah, well, it's caught a lot of customers by surprise. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills found out this is really part of a growing downtown trend. Mary? That's right. Well, the Elbow Room has certainly enjoyed a good long run, but the downtown food scene is definitely changing. In fact, some say it's on fire. Uh, everyone wants to try the hot new restaurants, and that's created a lot of new competition for places like the Elbow Room. Water. Water. For many loyal customers, the news was tough to swallow. And my reaction was, what? Oh, no. It, it's sad. Becky Saptoski and her two coworkers have come here for lunch every Thursday for 10 years. You know, restaurants come and restaurants go, but this one's been here a long time, and that's, that is surprising. The Elbow Room, which opened in 1933, will serve its last meal May 27th. We feel like every time we're here, there's always, it's always full, and every time we walk by, there's people outside enjoying drinks and food, so we just want to know why. Tina Sullivan is a friend of the owners who've had the pub since 2002. The pub concept right now is not working as well as it used to work, and they're trying to think it needs to be reimagined. Well, they've had a long run. But Bill French, a retail broker, says the dynamics are changing. More people are moving downtown, and so are restaurants, many along Mass Ave. There's a lot of competition, and unless you can really, really do the volume downtown, it's tough. Especially, he says, as rents continue to climb. Bourbon Street is another well-known pub that recently closed. French says people are hungry for new places, which bodes well for the elbow room. I'd say it's a B-plus location. I'd say being on Massachusetts Avenue would be an A location of some sort. But I think they'll, they'll have no trouble finding a good replacement. We'll, we'll miss it, but if you know, something else comes in, we'll be excited for that as well. Still, they say it'll be hard to replace waitstaff like Carrie. And she knows that I want extra crispy fries. She knows what her regular is. She knows what she wants lime in her Coke. For me, it kind of feels like cheers. You know, the show cheers. And the last day again is May 27th, which is also the same day as the 500 Festival Parade, which comes right down Pennsylvania in front of the Elbow Room. So a good day for the last day of business. Also, the owner, Rick Lux, owns five other Indianapolis restaurants, including the Meridian, Broad Purple Tavern, and Binkley's. And he says he will find positions for his Elbow Room employees at those restaurants. John and Andrea.